Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Lee. I come from Bukit Matajam, the northern part of Peninsula Malaysia. And now I'm staying in Johor in Kluang. That is the southern part of Malaysia. Wow, extreme. So um, welcome to my channel and uh, thank you for watching my uh, videos. Now we are at lesson 11. So as you, if you watch my videos, there are 1,000 over videos in my YouTube channel. My video uh, focuses on language education. So you can watch uh, for the time being since 2020, the pandemic. When I published this book, 2020, during the pandemic, COVID-19, uh, I published this book and I started to upload in my YouTube channel. So every question in book one, you can see in my YouTube channel, 38 chapters altogether, 1,324 questions, okay, with explanations and notes. And now I'm uploading my second book, which uh, was published this year, 2022. And uh, now I'm uploading this book, 40 chapters more than 1,400 questions. And we are now at lesson 11, personal pronouns. If you have this book, please turn to page 23, 24. Page 23. Personal pronouns. I, you, we, they, he, she, it. These are called personal pronouns. And they are used in the beginning of the sentence as the subject of the sentence. All these seven words. Okay, so we will do exercise one and two. One and two. Filling in the blanks with the subject, personal pronouns as the subject. As usual, because of lack of space, I have put all four exercises uh, in one go. So I have to read and you listen if you don't have a book. If you have a book, you can refer to the book, okay? Raj and Ranjit are brothers. They walk to school together. So Raj and Ranjit, they. They is personal pronoun used as the subject of a sentence. You are my nephew. Your father is my elder brother. You. You is called a personal pronoun. Beginning of the sentence. Number three, Mariam and I are classmates. We study in the same class. Mariam and I, so is we. We is personal pronoun. And it is used in the beginning of the sentence. The manager is in the office. He is very busy. The manager is he. But he is the person, is a personal pronoun used in the beginning of the sentence as a subject. This is my laptop. I bought it in the computer shop. My laptop, therefore, I am the one who buy it or bought it. I is a personal pronoun used as the subject or the beginning part of a sentence. Davy has a parrot. It lives in a cage. Parrot, so it. It is a personal pronoun used as the subject of a sentence. Exercise 2. Miss Lin works in a big company. She is a clerk. Miss Lin is a lady, so we use she. She is a personal pronoun and it is used in the beginning of a sentence as the subject of the sentence. Number two. This is, that is a wallet. It is made of leather. Wallet is a thing, so we use it. It is a personal pronoun used as the subject of a sentence. Number three. Zul is a postman. He works in the post office. Zul is a man, so we use he. He is a personal pronoun used as the subject of a sentence, the beginning part of the sentence. The women are in the market. They are buying vegetables. Women, M-E-N, many. So we use they. They is a personal pronoun, pronoun used as the subject of a sentence. You bought this mobile phone. This is your mobile phone. So you is a personal pronoun. Pronoun used as the subject of a sentence. My family and I went to the village. 
we stayed in our grandparents' house. My family and I, we. So the word we is a personal pronoun used as the subject of a sentence, the beginning part of the sentence. Okay? Now we go to exercise three and four. Personal pronouns but used as the object of a sentence. Object is the last part of the sentence, either behind a verb or a preposition. Me, you, us, them, him, her, it, all these are called personal pronouns but used as the object of a sentence. Question 1. They have a shop. The shop belongs to them. Them is a personal pronoun used as an object. Behind to. To is a preposition. To, for, from, by, with, about. All these are prepositions. Number 2. Mm, this is page 24. Number two, it is hungry. Please give it some food to eat. So give is a verb. Behind the verb, this is called a personal pronoun. But it is used as the object of a sentence. Number three, she is busy. Don't disturb her. So her, you can put a full stop because it's the end of the sentence behind the verb disturb. So her is a personal pronoun, but it is used as an object behind a preposition or a verb. She is busy. Uh, he did not bring his book, so I lent my book to him. To is a preposition, so uh, sorry, I lent him. Lent is a verb, so him is a personal pronoun but used as the object of the sentence. Actually, it's to him, but it's okay. I have a computer. The computer belongs to me. So, to is a preposition. So, me becomes an, the object of the, a personal pronoun, but used as the object of a sentence. And lastly, you have a new bicycle. Your father bought it for you. For is a preposition. So, you becomes the object. So, you can see that subject or object, it is still used, it still used the same word, you. Okay? Exercise 4. That is the cap that I bought. Do you like it? Like is a verb, so it becomes a personal pronoun but used as the object of a sentence. But you remember that it can also be used as the subject. It can also be used as an object. It is the same. Number 2. The students are in the canteen. Can you see them? C is a verb, so then becomes the object. So it is a personal pronoun, but then it's used as an object, huh? the object of a sentence. We bought some pots. The pots belong to us or us. To is a preposition, so us is a personal pronoun, but used as the object of a sentence. We, us. Okay? Is Nasri here? The teacher wants to see him. So Nasri is a boy. C is a verb, so him becomes a, the object of the sentence, but it is still the personal pronoun. If you use he, then it is the subject, but it is also a personal pronoun. Can you tell me how to do this sum? You. So can you? So you here is the subject. Tell is a verb, so me becomes the object of a personal pronoun. Eh? So it is a personal pronoun but used as an object. As the object of the sentence. Are you in Che Roshan? Our manager wants to meet you. So it's the same. You here is the subject but you here is the object after the verb. Meet. So in this case, you is used as the object of a sentence but it is still a personal pronoun. Okay, so I have finished all four exercises as well as the whole chapter. We will be going to exercise 12 soon. Okay, so as I told you just now, it's taken from this book, All Grammar. And if you are interested to buy two or one of these books, uh, please remember to WhatsApp me. Okay, WhatsApp to me this number and you can order your books from me. 
If you are interested to learn speaking and understand the difference between speaking and writing, you can go to my TikTok. These are my two accounts. Any one of it is okay. You can learn from there. And if you want to join my English course, which will start in early 2023. Okay? So one year, I more or less open three courses, uh, three times. Huh? So this one, I have already got five people registered. I need five more to open my class. So if you are interested, the same thing. Remember to uh, WhatsApp to me and let me know that you are interested to join this online class. Okay? So as usual, the class ends now. If you are interested, continue to watch until I reach lesson 40. Okay? So remember to give me a like, share and subscribe. Till we meet again in lesson 12. Goodbye.